Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the benefits of praising God in hard time and the difference between praise and worry. So by definition, praise only means giving thanks to God and worry is just the, the, the opposite of praise. Let us read the book of Psalm 34, 1. It says, I will praise the Lord at all the time. His praise will always be in my lips. So we just see, we can highlight all the time. So we need to praise the Lord all the time. We don't need to choose the time of praising the Lord. All the time, every time, every day, every year, we need to praise the Lord because He deserves our praise. So what is the benefit of praising the Lord in hard time? When we praise the Lord in a hard time, that reminds us who God is and what God has done. Secondly, that will give us peace and joy because we know that nothing is impossible to God. We know that our God is capable. We know that our God love will never let us down. So when we praise the Lord in hard time, that gives us peace and joy. And the most important thing, when we praise the Lord in hard time, that will increase our faith. We can see the example of Job. Job lost everything he had. He lost all the children, but he was able to praise the Lord. When we see in Job 19.25, it says, My Redeemer lives. So our God lives forever. And Job knew it. Even when he was going to the hard time, he was able to praise the Lord. Let us now turn to the difference between praise and worry. So worry, as we said before, is just the opposite of faith of praise so we are going to read in book of matthew six twenty seven. jesus said who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life is a question mark can we answer this question so we can just see worry it's only there to affect us it doesn't do us any good the consequence of worry, worry brings anxiety, worry brings depression, worry brings fear. And when, when you are worrying too much, you are not going to be able to praise God. That's what Jesus asked. Who can just add an hour, a single hour to his life by worrying? Can we give Jesus an answer today? Are we going to add? So what is worry will add to what is the benefit of worry in our life? It doesn't give it doesn't do us anything good. It's just there to destroy us. So for that simple reason, let us choose to praise the Lord. Because the difference between worry and praise, praise will give you peace, it will give you joy. And it will increase your faith. Whereas worry is just going to give it's just going to give you depression, anxiety, you will lose your appetite to eat, you're going to lose your sleep, you can't sleep in the night because you're worrying too much, you're gonna lose your joy, your peace. So worry is just there to destroy you. As Jesus said, that question mark. It's just for us to answer. Every time you are worrying about something, every time you are worrying about this lockdown, every time you are worrying when the church is going to open again, every time you are worrying when this is going to end, when, 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 when you have the when, you have how, you have why, ask yourself, is that going to bring a solution to your life? Is that going to bring peace in your life? I believe the answer is no. So let us stop worrying 
and turn our worry to worship. Let us turn our worry to praise so that we can glorify our God because he deserves it. Let us finish by reading Psalm 115.6 where it said, Let everything that is brief praise the Lord. May God bless you. Bye.